Another close game, another tough loss. What did you feel about this overall performance from the team? Uh, I feel good about it, you know. Um, started off a little slow, but, you know, it'd be like that some days. Um, but, you know, as long as we got back to, to what we do, and, and that's getting stops, that's, that's playing fast, playing together. Um, another tough loss, like you said. So we're just trying to figure out ways to, to finish the game and um, deep down in the stretch and, and just come more together um, as, as the ball game gets down to the wire. You had a career high. How did you feel about the way you played tonight? Uh, felt all right. You know, just my main thing is uh, winning. So you know, if we didn't win, it's, it's like it don't really matter. Um, obviously, I'm just it's going to come. The point's going to come. I'm not I'm never tripping on that. Um, I'm getting the opportunity, you know, with this team. I'm, I'm able to play fast. I'm able to play my game. So um, I'm never really never really tripping on the points, whether I have a good game or bad game. My, my main thing is um, winning. You know, that's what I'm here to, to try to impact um, is winning and um, getting stops and, and converting on the other side. So. Feel good though, feel alright. I know you obviously you, you want to win, um, but you shooting well I think helps the team win. Uh, tonight uh, you shot 50. percent How do you feel like that that part of your game is coming around? Uh, I mean I work on it, yeah. so it's like the work gonna show. You know I, I just keep my faith in God and keep my faith in and the work I put in. Um, like just trusting my work and uh, you know a lot of people say that, but you know that that's what I do and uh, shoot, I go out there and have confidence in what I was doing the day before, um, watching the film, just, just trying to get better every day. Uh, Chauncey had mentioned that coming off the bench, he'd talked to you about, you know, you'd be able to kind of survey and, and kind of see what the team needs when, when you come off the bench. What, what have you thought about kind of the, the way that that works with you coming off the bench? Yeah, it's different. It's different for sure. <clears throat> I had a high school coach, Coach Koo, he, was, he always said uh, coming off the bench is harder than starting because, mm -hmm. you know, you got to match the intensity of the other team. You got to match the intensity of someone you just subbed out. So. Imagine me subbing out Tease on the on the defensive end, so um, just trying to come back in and, and match that energy and um, give a little boost that the team needs. And like you said, Chauncey was um, basically explaining to me how I can see the game and um, while I'm on the bench and when I get out there, try to impact it. And tonight it was just playing fast. Um, I seen you know the other team was playing fast and uh, just trying to match that energy. So. You, you talk about playing fast, but there was a moment in the third quarter too where you you had an opportunity to take a three pointer, you reset yourself, and then you you got your feet set and then you took it and then you made mm -hmm. it. Like it seemed like obviously playing fast is important, but also taking your time. It seems like you're yeah. also getting that sense too. I think I think my I think no. that's something that uh, that I'm developing at is taking my time. You know, opponents are going to give me the time to, to shoot the ball, so they're going to go under screens. They're going to. Um, and not going to try to contest the three ball, obviously, just based off the numbers and stuff. So I understand that. So I'm just taking my time when I when I get the open shot. I imagine you want to maybe take advantage of that too to have the opportunity to. Yeah, hey, I love it. You know, I, not like Ant where he got to where they showing every single time he coming off the ball screen. You got to take uh, contest three. You know, you're gonna hit him either way. But um, should I get a little time to you know take my time and, and on my follow through and all that? Chauncey was really praising like your resiliency and your positive attitude through the ups and downs. Like, what enables you to have that mindset throughout the world? Um, shoot, my faith in God, honestly. Um, just always giving thanks. You know, Pooh always telling me this. Just, just always give thanks, whether you're going through ups and downs, and, and whether you're going through hardships, or you know, you you you're striving at a point. Um, I know it's going to be points in my career where where I'm going to be striving. Obviously, I'm going to be you know on the top in my mind. I'm going to be on the top of the. I'm on the top of the world at one point, so um, right now I'm just going through the going through um, first year, um, first couple of games. So uh, I'm just developing every single day, and like I said, uh, like things are going to happen. You know, I can't really overreact. So uh, as long as I just keep my faith in myself and my, and my work, as long as I stay confident, know that I got a great support system in my family, know that they believe in me, know that my team believe in me, um, and just believing in my team. So and the coaching staff just always picking me up. So. For, for you too, yeah, I can just tell like the pace is different, change of speeds different, and like what you're saying about you know believing in God and all that. It, it, I really started to see that because like I remember your rookie, your first game, you mm -hmm. have the same demeanor that you have here now. Do you feel like you're a rookie? Because it don't seem like it, like at all. So um, with it. I mean, little things like you know Princess Book Bag or whatever, like that, that made me feel like rookie. But um, <laughs> just like going through. Uh, uh, like hardships, I, I've been through that, and it's been times when and where I'm in my head like, all right, I gotta push through. You know, nobody going. Um, it's been times where I've been by myself trying to push through it by myself. So the fact that I got a, a great support system here in Portland and my family, you know, with me. So um, 
I guess, you know, I feel like a regular person, you know what I mean? Um, just going through it, you know. How has the game slowed down for you, you know, in terms of, you know, change of pace, getting to your spots? We got like a little drag dribble pull up early on too. It was a nice move. Like, just talk about how, like, you know. Appreciate it. That, you know. Uh, I think my understanding is just trying to get shots that I want to take. You know, Ann was telling me that, that they're going to force you to take that pull up shot um, most of the time. So um, my thing is just trying to continue to eat up space as I get in the middle, as I get in the in the lane, as I get in the mid range area. Um, just making sure I'm always taking the shot that I want to take, you know, at that point. Um, you know, that, I think that's the shot I like. So I'm going to take it most of the time, but knowing that sometimes it's, it's, it's not good for me to take that um, rather than get downhill and, and whether finish or make a play for my team. So.